What is going on everybody? My name is Jason. Welcome to another episode in my career mode series. We are heading on forward. We're now ending September against Aston Villa. Just a little reminder though, I still am managing Columbia, which I really do not want to be doing right now. Got a little message from Maxime Kanunikov, seeing the provisional team for the next game. I'm amongst the subs. I've been playing so well, basically. Why, why am I not starting? And, uh, I should be playing because I've been playing pretty well. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm like all right, we'll give you a game. Uh, actually, you know what? Yassim Benzia is so good. I'm going to play Yassim Benzia. <laughs> um, actually, no, maybe I did move Kanunikov on. Um, nope, we ended up starting Benzia indeed. As Benzia has been just such a standout player for us. Yassim the machine. And this time it's Matt Phillips working inside. Finds Yassim Benzia who finds Mateus. Mateus not going to like what he sees. Steps inside and that is one of the worst finesse shots I have ever seen in a FIFA match. What was that from the Brazilian? He's 20 years old now, and he's actually pretty decent. He's not going to be a standout Brazilian starter for their national team anytime soon, but he's okay, but his finishing is abysmal from time to time. Again, gets free, gets into a good spot, but can do nothing more than that finesse shot it straight at the keeper easy easy save uh but this is much better you've seen benzia knocks it right in in the 45th minute this is why he's a starter this is why we go back to him time and time again the young frenchman has been absolutely flawless for us. He was the leading scorer in the N-Power Championship last year. And thus far in the Premier League, he does have quite a few goals already. So he's making his claim as one of the top up-and-coming strikers in the world. Uh, this time it's Juan Manuel Aturbe, though. Another nice youngster. Finds Tony Valhena. Valhena going to slide free Benzia. And Benzia, again, no mistake about it, sees the near post, sees his chance. It, it was a wonderful overlapping run in the 57th minute to get his second of the match. Match. And I saw that a lot of you guys said, Japes, you're going to need to turn that difficulty up. And I think I mentioned this before now that I'm uh, saying it out loud again. But that is something that I will be doing once I catch up. Up And when I say catch up, I'm talking I am uh, maybe, I think I'm through December. I got playing it. And sometimes when you get playing career mode, you don't realize how far you get ahead. And it's like, whoa. And then you see the up and coming transfer window. And you're like, I want to get to that transfer window so badly. Play, 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 play. And uh, so now I am uh, <laughs> pretty far ahead. So I'm working on it. This episode, a little bit longer closing in. I think around that, that 10 minute mark. So hopefully these will be uh, wetting your palate for a little bit of career mode. Again, Memphis to pay with a message. Boss, when I signed my contract with this club, you made it certain promises regarding to my role, but I don't feel like I'm getting, I'm currently getting uh, that role fulfilled. And it's like, oh man, I'm, my players are starting to get a little restless, a little unhappy. Kanenikov, he comes back after, really wanted to start that game. Kind of, kind of bummed about it. And uh, I thought, okay, you know what? He's bummed, but that's okay. We'll give him a chance. We've got some Europa League action. And the press only making things worth. Is Depay part of Blackpool's future? Absolutely he is. And uh, he just he said, I just want to play football and I'm not getting much of a chance. He said during a PA yesterday, that's brutal to hear because he's definitely part of our future is uh, he's more part of our future probably than Matt Phillips is at the current moment. But, you know, if the right offer maybe comes in for to pay, I don't know. Maybe he'll be on his way out. But uh, as of right now, that is not the plan. And uh, we are going to go ahead and let everybody rest for the most part that played against Villa earlier in the week. Big changes. We're going to play Delafeu on the right, Kanunikov in the middle, and Depay on the left. Nana Welbeck makes his way back into the squad, and we really don't have much depth defensively. So that's something that we're going to have to look at. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll do something with Depay eventually like we did with Thomas Ince, or maybe Matt Phillips that we did with Thomas Ince. And what we did with Tom Thomas Ince, if you guys do not remember last season, we ended up straight up basically trading him for uh, Thomas Callis, our star center back. We've got Fabian Amichabu, our uh, young, young German goalkeeper on the bench. Not very good right now, but has the potential to be very, very good in the future. So I am looking forward to being able to sign him up for the first team so that I can either get him into a few matches or loan him out and get that man some playing time because I want him to develop because he is going to be or at least at this point should be our starter in the future Europa League action or Euro League action as we call it on here 
uh, or maybe it is Euro League action, I don't know. Uh, but we're up against Standard Liege, and Standard Liege actually is a pretty darn strong squad on FIFA. If you play with them regularly and head-to-head -head seasons, you'll be actually pleasantly surprised with the pace that they have and the strike force that they have as well. But we are a far better team now this deep into career mode. At least that's kind of how I feel about it. I mean, the star rating might not be that way, but my players have good FIFA stats. And what I mean by FIFA stats are if you get them in the right positions, they're going to score Memphis to pay right there. Eighth minute goal. And FIFA stats, again, for me, they're the ball control, uh, they're the pace, they're the acceleration. These are the things that really make the most because the way I play, and this goes into Ultimate Team as well, where I, I don't mind playing with bronze teams at all because you can play with bronze teams flawlessly as long as you don't try to do, or at least get the ball under control pre-trying to make a pass or pre-trying to dribble someone. If you don't do that, then you're going to struggle with bronze teams. But if you do that, then you're going to be in good shape. Lovely save here from Ahamada, keeping the score at 1-0 to us. Memphis to pay came into this match and was like, hey, I want to play and I'm going to show you why. Unlucky with that shot right there. Probably could have taken a touch and smacked it into the far corner, but went a little bit rushed from that. Standard Leeds trying to play it nicely out of the back. Lovely little bit of passing from them right here, but a terrible, a terrible error, and we are instantly springing free on the counter over the top to Delafeu. Is he going to have enough pace? He does indeed. Knocks it in, and Memphis Depay beats his man to put us ahead by a yet another goal. So 2-0 two, two now in the 35th minute. Memphis Depay again making his case that says, hey, I am one. I am the guy for the future on that left wing. You need to be playing me far more often. And uh, with performances like he's putting in, at least at the start of this match, I really have to take notice of that. And it's again Depay. He gets it taken away, but it falls to Kanunikov. Kanunikov going to go back across over to Depay. Depay, lovely little bit of work, pulls it back, skips inside, and that is another goal for the young Dutchman. And uh, some of you guys were like, Japes, you basically just raided the Eredivisie of their best young Dutch players. And I was kind of like, yeah, you know, I think it's uh, one of the, at least right now, it's one of the best league for youngsters. And so I absolutely went ahead and did that. I went to Liga Portuguesa, picked up a youngster from them, as well, Juan Manuel Aturbe, and uh, you know I'll keep my eyes on the lookout for you know some other league. Went to the French League One, picked up Samuel Umtiti, who I don't know if he's going to develop to be such a star for us right now, but he's certainly a very talented young uh, Frenchman. Same thing with you seen Benzia. Both of them uh, were Olympic Lyon men as well, and then Barcelona B as well. We picked up two players from. That's a lovely bit of work. Finds big Kanunikov, and his heading is something that I don't utilize near, near enough because I'm just I just don't like crossing. I like essentially passing it into the goal on FIFA. Uh, but Kanenikov has excellent, excellent jumping stats, and he's very, very tall. Well, very, very strong as well. So I should really be making the most of that, even though I do not. But I do right here. Delafeu again crosses it in. Kanenikov absolutely bullies his man on the far post. 72nd minute, and this one has gotten out of hand oh so very quickly. 5-0 now, 87th, and it's again Kanenikov doing a nice little bit of work. His dribbling has improved since he's played with us, or been part of this squad, which is fantastic. When he first came, I thought he was just never, ever going to make it in, but that's another tidy finish in at the far post, 89th minute completing, I believe, his hat trick right there. Uh, and his stats that I like are improving, which bodes very, very well for his place in the squad in the future. And so I really should have a play with some different formations. You know, four triple two, get Benzie and Kanunikov on there more often than, or, you know, every so often. See how something like that maybe works out, or maybe even a four four two here or there. See how it plays out. Four four one one would probably work. I have to go, though, and do my international duty. I have to... Um, Make sure that the Colombian lineup for the upcoming uh, international friendly, friendlies is, or not inter international friendlies, the World Cup qualifiers are what I want it to be. And we're just taking a look at the bench. And I thought, you know, I should really be playing some of these young Colombian players that I maybe will want to sign for Blackpool. So I'm, I'm first and foremost a Blackpool man. Secondly, I'm going to be a, uh, a Colombian man. So uh, bring on Cortez, a young center back. Gonna just see how he plays out. He might be one that we can take a look at. Probably could pick him up pretty cheap. But our strike force with Colombia is absolutely ridiculous. Falcao, James Rodriguez, Luis Muriel, Victor Ibarbo. So much pace. And, of course, we have uh, Mar Jackson Martinez from Porto as well up there, leaving us just too many options to be able to compete in all of these matches. But we, uh, we're, of course, going to play the best ones that we can find. Pick up Chara, center mid. Uh, I believe he actually plays in the MLS. Don't quote me on that, though. I'm not totally sure. Anyways, guys, we are coming 
to a close at the end of this episode. If you guys did enjoy this episode, a like or thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. We're closing in on our match with Tottenham. I'll have one more episode out later today. I don't know if it's going to be career mode. I don't think it's going to be path to power. It's probably going to be a sometimes from the stream. So be sure to check that out if that is something that you enjoy. Anyways, thank you again for watching. My name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.